Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another review with me. Today, I'm going to be doing something exclusive. Eyebrow raisingly exclusive. Anyway, let me take this off so you can see my real face. Today I am at a Dunkin' Donuts slash Baskin Robbins. That's an important distinction. This item is only available at places that are both a Dunkin' Donuts and a Baskin Robbins, but also even morely, morely, yeah, also morely exclusively, that's a real word and phrase, this is only available in the Chicago area, I believe only like 20 to 30 locations total in the Chicago area have this. So, in your face, Poppy eats in that cheese chicken sandwich. Eating it eight times. Dunkin' Donuts. I'm going to review two things. I'm going to review this one first, which you've probably seen other people do. This is the Spooky Ghost Pepper Donut. Uh, I think it has strawberry in it. I think the frosting strawberry, but it has some some ghost pepper and I believe like chipotle pepper in it as well. The guy who uh, I bought this from said that people have liked it. So let's go ahead and try it out. I'm going to break it open just so you see there's nothing there in the middle. I assume all the spice is right there on top. There's like the faintest idea of spiciness. I definitely taste the strawberry. They could have definitely turned the heat up on this a couple notches. This, th there's like a small build of it, but like nothing really. This is really early in the morning, and this donut is really fresh, like really soft. The actual donut itself is good. I like the strawberry frosting. I think all the spices in that sugary, crunchy top. One thing, let me say a couple things I don't like about this. This right here. I don't like chunky sugar on my donut. It's a donut. It's not bad. As far as strawberry frosting donuts go, it's a decent donut. But you advertise it as a ghost pepper donut. And you, there's t two types of pepper in there. One being an extremely spicy ghost pepper. Well, the quality of ghost pepper is that extreme heat. So when you mute it down to that level, my question is why ghost pepper? Is it just so you can have the name Ghost Pepper in there? It's spooky Halloween ghosts and goblins, so ghost pepper. And you're like, we'll just use it 
so we can put the name in it and people won't sue us saying there's you didn't use real ghost pepper because there's actually some real ghost pepper in here but it's like 0.0000001% of the actual recipe that's just for the sugar on top yeah it's kind of disappointing I'm going to give it a six and a half out of ten just for sheer disappointment okay now let me get my straw ready so that I can show you, my viewers and fans of the world, this exclusive pumpkin munchkin milkshake. That's right, they took the pumpkin spice munchkins, if you don't know what those are, the little donut holes that they sell at Dunkin Donuts which actually don't come from the holes of the donuts they're just made separately in a different process altogether weird right but they took those pumpkin spice munchkin mini little donuts and they mixed it with ice cream and milk and they put it in a blender and I can tell you right now from my experience getting this, that this will probably remain an exclusive to Chicago and it probably won't go anywhere else because I don't think Duncan wants to do it worldwide. And I'll tell you why. Because their machines that mix things don't really do well with like dry ingredients like the munchkins. He was blending that thing for a long time before he gave it to me. And he had someone else had to come over and like look at it and determine like this doesn't look like it's blending correctly. They had to do something with it. But it looks like I don't see any chunks in there. But it is very uh, liquidy, which happens a lot when you overmix things because the friction of the blades can cause heat, melting the ice cream a little bit more than they would want to. So this is not as thick of a milkshake as you might suspect. Now you can pick whatever ice cream they have at Baskin Robbins to make with this, but if you're going to do a munchkin that's pumpkin spice flavored, you want to do something that at least complements that, if not improves on it. So really, you're down to two choices. Vanilla, which won't interfere with it, you'll get the taste. Or what I got, they have a pumpkin cheesecake ice cream which only had like a scoop and a half left in the giant bucket uh, originally he told me there wasn't any but from his angle there wasn't any but from my angle it was all in the back corner so I was like just turn around there's ice cream on the other side and he used that I think he had to use a little bit of vanilla to fill it out because there wasn't much in there but this is what I got the pumpkin munchkin milkshake with pumpkin cheesecake ice cream in it exclusive that's right only here in Chicago I'm the only one reviewing this on YouTube so watch and give it a thumbs up and subscribe here we go It's magical. The munchkin gives it like little pieces of chewy cake, which like when you're doing a cheesecake, usually you have like a, a graham cracker or a crumbly type of uh, crust. And I think that's what adds, the, when you add the munchkin to the pumpkin cheesecake, flavor it makes it taste more like you're taking a real cheesecake and mixing it with ice cream because you get those cakey crusty bits which leads me to a theory Chicago has a restaurant chain known as Portillo's 
you might hear me have seen me do a, a review where I judge of three big name Italian beefs in Chicago, which one was the best. And Portillo came in second behind Buona's, but way ahead of Al's. But at Buona, I mean, at uh, Portillo's, they have a milkshake called the Chocolate Cake Milkshake, in which they actually take a slice of chocolate cake and they throw it into a blender with ice cream and they serve that as a milkshake. And that's something that you can only get in Chicago too. So maybe the marketers for Dunkin' Donuts were like, they already like cake and milkshake in Chicago. Let's test it there because they know what they're t talking about there in Chicagoland with their cakes and their milkshakes mixed together. They're like, well, since it's fall, let's do it with the new pumpkin ones. We need to get them out anyway. We need more people to eat them. We don't want to throw them away. Let's make another thing. We'll make it exclusive to Chicago. The Duncan Munchkin Pumpkin. Duncan Munchkin Pumpkin Milkshake. Cheesecake Milkshake. Duncan Pumpkin. Duncan Pumpkin Munchkin Cheesecake Milkshake. Say that five times fast. Anyway, you know it's going to be a good day when you start out with a donut and a milkshake that has a donut in it. And that's sarcasm. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you are in the Chicagoland area, try this out. I give it about a 7.9 out of 10. You know, the magical thing was a little bit of a, a stretch there. It's okay. The 7.9. It is good. Um, I'm not a huge uh, milkshake drinker. I think it really slows me down. But anyway, that's it for the review. Like, share, subscribe. Do all the things. We'll see you next time for more exclusive only to this channel videos. See you next time. Bye.